What's up guys, it's your girl Lenadia back with another video. Today I'm doing a mukbang. It was supposed to be Mr. Beast Burger, but if you didn't see my TikTok, this is not at all what I ordered. Um, I'm just gonna eat it anyway. I'm not gonna let the fact that it's wrong ruin this video. Um, I'm really here to answer you guys' questions and just chat with y'all. All these questions are gonna be for my broadcast channel. If you're not on my broadcast channel on Instagram, go get in there. <laughs> First question, do you know how to do a spin move? <laughs> yes, I do. Um, if you go back in time and change one thing from your past, what are you doing? Hmm. If I can go back in time, I think I would go back to probably like my junior year of high school. My junior year of high school, I felt like I was finally becoming myself. And um, I just work a little harder, honestly. I'd work on basketball a lot more than I did my junior year of high school. I'd reach out to some more coaches and um, start doing social media earlier. I always knew I wanted to do this, but yeah. I would I would have started social media earlier and I would have worked harder in basketball. Fave basketball moment in your career. <laughs> um my favorite basketball mo moment in my career was probably scoring a thousand points. It was at my high school's rival school. It was at their school, so get to, getting to score a thousand points at their school was pretty cool. Um, the game stopped. Everyone celebrated me for the moment, and it was really awesome. It was a great feeling. Another um, favorite basketball moment in my career would probably be at my junior college. We won a lot of games, and we worked super, super hard, and so I just love that. So I would say just being with my teammates and enjoying us working hard and winning. You know, when you look back, being in those tough moments of workouts and tough moments of practice that prepared you to win games, someone's asking for more vlogs. I'm for sure thinking about doing vlogs all December. So, yeah. Tell us more about yourself. What are some of your hobbies outside of basketball? Some of my hobbies outside of basketball is singing. I sing, um, I play the guitar. I love playing video games. Um, I really want to get into like more, um, more of helping people, finding ways to help more people um, through content and through, you know, being able to share the wealth and everything. So yeah, who was the first person you ever crossed over, and do you remember how? <laughs> um. I actually don't remember the first person I've ever crossed over. I've crossed over a lot of people in my days, not to where they touch the ground, but just in general to get past them and get a bucket. So I actually don't remember who, um, remember how. Probably my favorite move, I don't really know what it's called, but it's when you throw the ball this side, you fake your body this way. And it's like, so like you, cross the ball to this side of your hand, but you fake your body this way and then you go with your left hand. I've done, I faked a lot of people out with that move. What are your top five basketball shoes? Mm. Top five, okay, Mula Kicks, definitely I put them in number two. Curry's, number one. GT Cut Twos, number three. Those are pretty, pretty solid. Um, Kyrie's, number four, number five, and having to give it to KD's, or, I say KD's. Who is your all-time favorite basketball player from any team? All right, WNBA, it'd have to be Diana Taurasi in her prime. She was a beast. I used to watch all her basketball highlights before every game. I remember being in AAU 
and watching basketball highlights of Diana Taurasi before my next game and in between my AU games. So that's a moment that I vigorously remember. And so I definitely have to say Diana Taurasi. When I got to meet Diana Taurasi and Sue Bird, my eyes were on Diana Taurasi, okay? Um, NBA-wise, I'd have to say Kyrie or Steph. I love Steph Curry, his just love for God and putting I can do all things through Christ on basketball sneakers back when I was in high school was like huge to me, seeing someone represent God in such a way. Um, I think his character is super great. He can handle the ball, he can shoot. Kyrie handles unimaginable. His lay package is crazy. Um, I really like how Kyrie stands up for what he believes in and he's unapologetically himself. And so, yeah. When did I start liking basketball and who inspired me to play? Um, my mom always says I just picked up a ball and started playing. I love dribbling and they bought me like a little tykes basketball hoop and I would just be down there shooting, playing all the time. Um, it was kind of just in me, I guess. My parents don't really watch sports that much, which is crazy. And somehow I still love basketball. Um, I started liking basketball when I was like five, five years old, young, super young, played at a super young age and never stopped. Um, who inspired me? I don't know. As I got older, it became like people in the league and stuff like that. But when I was at that age, I was the oldest kid. So I really didn't look up to anyone as far as like, um, people in my family older than me or siblings because I was the oldest. I don't know. I just wanted to hoop. I loved the way I felt playing basketball. Like when I played basketball, nothing else mattered. I didn't have a moment to think about uh, homework or schoolwork or anything or the fact that my mom yelled at me yesterday. Like, I couldn't, you didn't have enough time. You got to play defense. You got to play offense. I'm always handling the ball. I'm always scoring. I just had the most fun on the court, and I just fell in love with the game. Next section of questions are going to be from TikTok. What division player are you? I played Division Two at a junior college, and I played Division Two at a four-year school. So, D2. Um... Similar question, how old were you when you started playing organized basketball? I've been playing organized basketball for a very long time. I played in rec leagues. Um, the PAL, PAL, I played for PAL, Police Athletic Leagues in my area where I lived. So I've probably been playing organized basketball with like a ref and coaches and stuff probably since like eight years old. Mm. What was the most inspiring thing someone has ever said to you? Um, the most inspiring thing someone has ever said to me was to run my own race. To not look to the left or to the right of me. To look ahead at what I want in life and to go get it. Don't look at other people and see what they have and be jealous of them. Don't look at someone else who has less than you and look down on them to just stay focused on what your goals are and what you're doing and don't be jealous of anyone else. Your time is your time. No one can take that away. No one could add to that. So I think that's my biggest advice is just um, run your own race at your own speed, at your own pace, in your own time. Most points you ever dropped in a game. High school, 37 points. In college, I think it was like 31. Yeah. That's it from TikTok. Moving on to Instagram, just the regular responses. I put up a poll. We got a bunch of these, which I'm excited for. I haven't even bit into my Nashville hot burger yet. Let's try it. It actually has. I'm, I'm, honestly, I'm not even going to eat all that bread. So I'm just going to put it to the side. It's not even spicy. If you had to pick one thing to do differently from your past, what would it be? 
Um, besides going back in time and doing what I already told you guys, um, another thing I would do in my past. Mm. <laughs> I'm super emotional. But um, sometimes when I look at my past, I had a lot of success. But most importantly is your family. And I could have been nicer to them. I could have been more loving, more affectionate, more understanding. I didn't understand at the time, but now I understand. And I do wish I could go back in time and love my brothers a little harder and love my mom and dad a little more for what they did. And that's why I work so hard now because I wanna give back to them for being so great. Because in the moment, I didn't know. Ah! Anyway, what is your favorite basketball player of any team? I already answered that question. Diana Taurasi in the WNBA. She plays for the Phoenix Mercury. Then we got Kyrie, Steph Curry. What was it like meeting Jesser? Jesser is so genuine. The same exact person he is on camera is the same person he is off camera. Goofy, funny, kind. He was great to me. He was super kind. When I walked in to his warehouse and met him, they were in the middle of doing a video and he stopped immediately and came over and introduced himself and was just super kind. And yeah, he's exactly what you think he would be like. Super cool guy. Have you ever been to Portugal? No, I've never been to Portugal. I am going to Spain, which is close to Portugal, I think. I'm not good at geography. It's <laughs> one thing about me. What's the hardest part about being a student athlete? I think the hardest part is time management. You got to be able to do your schoolwork on time and get good grades and also work out three times a day and go to class and do all these things and still have a social life. But you can have a social life with getting good grades and being a great student athlete. So I think time management is the biggest thing. Learn how to manage your time so you can have a balanced college career. If you had three meals that you have to eat for the rest of your life, what would it be? Chicken Parmesan. That's my favorite, favorite meal. Chicken parm. Um, what else? Ooh, what else? What else? Definitely lo mein. What you doing, boy? My dog's over here sniffing my food. Chicken lo mein. Ha he thinks I'm about to give him some chicken. <laughs> if you guys haven't met Ozzy and Saint, it's Saint. He's about to be two years old soon. And this is Ozzy. She's going to be a year old. They're both golden doodles. They're not from the same litter. But they act completely opposite. But they love each other so much. My babies can just... Oh, good boy. Give me this one. Mm, good baby. And, um, all right, back to the three meals. Chicken parmesan for sure. What would be after chicken parm? Oof. Chicken lo mein. Love lo mein. And one more, one more, one more. Hmm. Ooh, chicken tenders. If you was on 2K, what would your three-point rating be? This is a good question. I think my... My shot is consistent. Uh, my shot is sometimes inconsistent, especially at the three. If it was mid range, it'd be like a 97%. If it was three pointing, I'd have to give it like an 80. Between a 76 to 80. Like you're not about to hit every time. But it gets consistent sometimes, but then it gets horrible sometimes. <laughs> All right. When was I born? I was born in 1998 in Waterbury, Connecticut, born and raised. I lived there for 18 years of my life. Waterbury, Connecticut is what made me. What workout do you do the most? Um, forearm shooting, love forearm shooting. Mm.
some of my favorite drills are like mid-range shooting drills. Ball handling is a must. You need to always be working on your ball handling. Always working on your form shooting. So those are the two workouts I work on the most. Mm. Someone asked me, when did I start believing in God? I was always in church. I was one of those kids up in the front singing and dancing and doing things in front of the church. And then as I got older, I continued to be that same person being involved in the church and always believing in God. I was forced to go to church, but I had a love for God already there. Uh, as I continued to get older, the love for God continued um, I got more on fire for God and just, I know that things in my life wouldn't be where they are without him. And when I pray for things and they come to fruition, I remember that. And when I have doubts and I'm disappointed in life, I know it's not because of God, but it's because of things in the world. And I just pray, you know, when I'm happy, when I'm sad, I pray. When things aren't going my way, I pray. When things are going my way, I pray. And just everything I do, I just pray and believe in who he is. But it started out from when I was very, very young. I do want to do some more um, vlogs and stuff of this nature and allow you guys to get to know me more because I think it's super fun. Just to open up and tell you guys about myself. If you meet me in person, I'm super open and loud and funny, but I know on camera sometimes and how I do content, you can't always get my full personality, but yeah, I think I'm going to start doing some more vlogs for December and showing you guys a little bit more of my life and what it's like day to day. Um, I'm not eating this Carl's Deluxe. I might bite it just for you guys. Let's bite it real quick. I'm not eating the bread because why did they do that to me? I don't know. I'll give the dogs my bread. At least the meat is cooked. Why does that actually taste good? And to think I wasn't going to eat that. Good thing I tested it out for you. That thing is kind of good. It doesn't at all look like it's supposed to. But it's got great seasoning. I appreciate you for watching this video. Thank you for showing so much love to me and my channel. And all my social media platforms. I love you guys so, 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 so much. Super grateful for all of you who look up to me. Who, you know comment watch videos and all that you guys are the best everyone else if you're new here please like and subscribe until next video love you fam peace